In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between mutable and immutable string. Now we have come across so many programs of string, there arises a question that what do we mean by mutable and what is an immutable string. So the basic difference between the mutable and immutable string is that the mutable string are those in which fields can be changed after the object creation. So very first difference is that the fields can be changed. After object creation. Whereas in the immutable string, fields cannot be changed. You cannot change a particular field after object creation. So after object creation, you cannot change a particular field. Now in immutable string, it generally provides a method to modify the field value. That means it has a method with the help of that particular method you can modify or you can change. Mutable exactly means change only that you can change the value. So it allows the modification. Whereas immutable, in the immutable string, we have no modification. That means we cannot modify the field value. Now as this is a mutable string that means it will have both get and set methods. Whereas this particularly immutable string has only the getter methods. Because you cannot change the value, so it doesn't have any set methods. Example of mutable, how can we create a mutable string or how can it be changed? So it can be done usually in this particular classes or in this packages such as the string builder or the date class which we used, java.util.date. In our previous program of date we have used so that is particularly mutable that means it can be changed whereas immutable is particularly the major string class and the box primitive data objects like integer long if their value is one set then they cannot be changed so these are the basic differences between the immutable and mutable objects or you can say the immutable and mutable string objects if we create for example, now the question arises, how can we create a mutable class? So we have to do nothing to create a mutable class. We have to provide a method to modify the field value. That is, we can have the get and set methods. And then with the help of getter and setter methods, we can change that particular object value. That is, firstly, we create an object of that class. And the syntax will be simple, class name obg equals to new class. And then you can give the value of whatever the object you want to get print. And then you can set or you can change that value also that I want to set this particular name of this object now that means you can update that is this particular object is mutable you can change the particular value so this is for you can create a mutable class now for immutable class what you can do is so you have to make sure that if you want to create an immutable class or in particular object then what you have to do is a class should be declared as final so that it cannot be extended now if you declare a particular class as final it cannot be extended so final keyword you can give and also we have studied that when we use the final keyword all the fields and the uh, member functions which are there they cannot be values cannot be changed they cannot be s's after also, you can declare the method. Secondly, you can declare any particular method or function which you are building as private so that it cannot be inherited by any other classes. Direct access is not allowed. And we know that there are no setter method. It has only getter method. So definitely you cannot set values for any immutable object. You can just get the values and make all the field mutable fields final so that it can be assigned only once. If you make that particular final, then you can assign the value only once. If you change the particular value, it it will either show an error or it will don't print because that is not the case of final keyword. So this is how exactly the string is immutable because immutable objects are there we have created because there are no setter methods it has only getter methods in Java. So now execute I will execute each example of both mutable and immutable so that you can get a clear picture of what are mutable objects and immutable objects or string in Java. So here you can see that firstly what I have done is I have created a class name mutable and as I said that uh, there is private string course name we have displaying a course name here and that's mutable and with the help of this keyword we are fetching the course name. Now 
it is having both get and set methods in mutable so firstly it is getting the string name and returning it and then set name is done with the help of that course name which we have created that particular method and this keyword is used to pass the value or the reference to the course name now in the void main method what we have done we have simply created an object of the mutable class and what it is going to print in the parameter that it has to have a course name here so it is we are displaying here as java so particularly in system dot out until and statement we have used this particular get name next what we have done after the print is done we have changed the name that now i want to just print only programs not java so that can be done with the help of get name method also that is update is been done here that means this object is mutable this object value can be change now as i execute this pro particular program you can see here that it is firstly displaying java and then it is displaying programs that means update can be done so this is the case of mutable next if i come to the program of immutable which i have wrote so you can see here we have used the final keywords for the method also and for the variables also that we have used the final keyword so that the values cannot be changed so if the values cannot be changed then it is going to return us just the course name and i have created an object and i have just passed the value using the get name there is no set because you cannot set the value also you cannot create an other object also for this particular class because it is set to be a final for example if you do that let's say if i create another object naming a and i change here the value from java so let's say a b c we are going to print that if i do that here you can see a small token is generated and it is displaying that the value of local variable is not used so it is not in use also if i save this particular program and i execute this immutable dot java so you can see here it is only printing java system dot out internet it is only using the get name to print this particular method this is not there which also shows that i can use only get but i cannot set the value of this particular obg again with the help of dot set because it is using final and this is immutable so this is the basic concept of immutable strings and mutable objects or strings in java for more concepts we will look into upcoming videos